High stakes is gone and pushback is here. That means there are new robots to be built and unlike high stakes where there is only one type of robot that only worked well, in pushback there are three which I like a lot because it adds the uh, diversity of the robots and how you select alliance partners. It's gonna be a great season. And yeah, we get three instead of one, which is great. Uh, we have the C bot, the S bot, and the basket bot. Um, I'm gonna go over each of the bots separately and then I'm gonna rank them at the end. Starting off with the C bot. Now, the C bot. Um, it's probably most important factor is the fact that it can score pretty fast and in pushback having a bot that scores pretty fast is super important or if not the most important factor of winning a match like if you have a high speed scoring robot and it can hold a decent amount of blocks you'll be set and this is what the c shaped does well you will intake from uh, from here and you just fill up uh, blocks in a c-shaped pattern and uh, you score the high here and then you can piston go up and down and it works great um, no color sorting on this one or I haven't seen any that you can color sort on but I mean I'm, I feel like color sorting and and pushback is not as significant as it was in high stakes but I mean I wouldn't worry if you don't have uh, color sorting but I haven't really seen any C shaped color sortings this is really great at scoring at uh, moving fast having holds a lot of blocks and it keeps your opponents up on edge I like it C shaped bot is pretty well moving on to the S shaped bot now the S-shaped bot, its most important feature um, is that it can hold a lot of blocks. Now, it takes uh, through uh, through here. It goes up and around and like that, like an S. So it it holds a lot of blocks, although it scores a little bit slower um, than the C bot does. So if you're focusing on scoring fast, then I'll probably build a C-shaped bot. If you want to hold a lot, I mean, the speed from the S-shaped compared to the C-bot, like the C-bot can score faster, but the S-shaped bot is still pretty fast at scoring, which is great. Um, usually there's a piston over here to determine, yeah, probably have one right here determine the high in the middle and um, you could probably just go straight from here and decide which way you want the block to go for the bottom or I don't know I want the bottom to go but um, S shaped is pretty good there I've also heard of some color sensing S shaped bots where they have like a basket attached to like the back or somewhere on the robot um, that I can sense when it's the right color, I'll go this way or the other here. That's just important for match loading. Um, a shipped bot is really good at holding a lot of blocks and scoring. Good, you know, like de scoring like opponents, and yeah, it's pretty great. Um, go on to the last one, the basket bot. Um, this is a bot that probably. Um, right when everyone heard that there is no position limit, you can hold as much as you want of either side. Um, it probably popped up into everyone's mind at first. Um, and it is one of the big three, uh, this game. And basically, um, this is probably a simple basket bot. Goes in here, into the basket, and then down here, I think you can score up through there. Now, um positives of this is that can hold a lot of blocks and it could also like hold your opponent's blocks and maybe like a color sensor to have its own basket or whatever but it can hold a lot of blocks the downside though and is probably the biggest downside of the basket bot is that it doesn't score 
it doesn't score fast. I mean, I've seen a couple teams manage to actually build a pretty fast scoring basketball, but only VexU, I haven't seen any Vex VRC bots do that yet. Um, but yeah, the, that's the basketball. Now I'm going to rank them. Now here are my rankings. I am going to put the S-shaped bot at number one. Um, compared to the numbers to the second spot, the C-shaped bot, it's going to hold more blocks, and it's going to it's going to be slower than the C-shaped bot, but it's not going to be too much slower. It's still going to score pretty f decently fast, and Combined with the block capacity and the scoring speed, this bot is really good, and that's why I'm putting it at number one. And I think the C bot is just below the S shaped bot, and it, it basically goes for like what the S shaped is aimed for, but it can hold less, score a little bit faster, but that's why I'm putting it at second. And then for third, I am going to put the basket bot solely on the fact well it can hold a lot of bucks but it's not gonna score very fast and through all the matches i've seen and I, i've seen a lot of matches um that's my role in my team like hours and hours and basketballs just haven't been performing up to par as a c or s shaped bot would and just like the p results just don't show that the basketball can compete with the CRS, but it's mainly because it can't score fast. Um, Vex, Vex U is probably going to be a bit different. I mean, I've seen a couple teams manage to do a high scoring basketball for Vex U, but not Vex VRC. And yeah, that's going to be my rankings. I hope this helped a lot. Um, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.